Chickatanya. Hello, all of you. Chickatanya, Chris and I have got a name for our boat. <laughs> but you haven't even built it yet. I know, but we really like the name. <laughs> okay, what is it? The Varnatin. It's the end of our names put together. Very good. <laughs> what, what, eh? Hey? Christine and Shivana are going to make a vanity. What's that? Hmm. Do they know how to make it? Because I've never heard of it. I wonder if Trekatanu knows how to make one. What, what? Sure. Vana tin. It sounds like it's made out of tin. That's not true. Anyway, what's your boat called? We haven't got a name yet. We're waiting to see what it looks like. Then we'll give it a name. Well, you've got to decide which boat you want to make. We were talking about this at school and we've decided. Have you? That's good. Me and Ruan are going to make a boat with the paddle. And we're going to make the one with the balloon. Okay, sounds good to me. But you know what? It would probably be a good idea for us to make one boat at a time, then we'll all learn how it's done. Who wants to go first? We can go first. We've already got a name for our boat. <laughs> okay. On the shelves, you'll find all sorts of materials. Pick out the ones you like. And you two have to think up a name for your boat. Hmm, I was thinking Gamohelo Express. I don't think so. The Ruan Express sounds better. Maybe it won't be an express at all. You might lose. No, we won't. So what have you got there? We've got this polystyrene tray, a couple of balloons, and some sticky tape. No, it's not sticky tape, it's this brown stuff. It's called parcel tape. And I've also got one of these long, empty roller towel cardboard things. Okay, so where are you going to start? We'll make the house first. We were thinking about making one house, but then Shivana suggested we make one of those cats, uh, cats... Catamaran. One of those catamaran boats that have got two houses. So, if we take this, this cardboard, the roller towel, and we cut it and shape it to form two houses, then we can attach it to the bottom of this tray. This will keep them together. But isn't it a problem if the bottom of the holes are round? If they were pointy, they would move through the water better. Hmm, I suppose you could make it pointy somehow. You could just squeeze them to make them pointy. How? See? Oh, right. Good idea. So what we need to do is cut this tube into two and make them the right size. I think halfway is about here. Turn it while you're cutting. That's it. And there. Let's check. Now I'll just cut off this little bit extra. Right, start cutting. Step in front. Right, and we're going round and round again. That's fine, just careful with your hands. She wants to help you cut it around. She's so good. Careful with your guys' fingertips. Okay, let me help you guys finish it off. Right. So Shivana is cutting this so that it's at the same size as the other half. Okay. And that's your extra. Go on. I think we should try and make these front ends quite sharp. Why is this? Wow. Won't it um, help the boat to cut through the water easier? Yes, it will. But the back end doesn't have to be as thin. Can I try? Yeah. Can you use the other one too? Yes. 
Okay, so now what? Are you going to use this polystyrene tray and the two hulls to make one boat, a catamaran? Yes. And how are you going to do that? We thought we'd use this parcel tape. You know because your hull is cardboard and you're going to put it in water, it might be a good idea to cover the whole hull in tape to keep the water out. Yes, I'll do that. I think you should layer the parcel tape over and over. Why? To keep the water out? Yes, to make it waterproof. Shivana, can you cut the tape here? Do you mean like this? Yes, maybe with the next strip overlap it. That way it will be more waterproof. And make sure you stick down the ends neatly. Right. Now you carry on with that. But in the meantime, have you thought about your engine? Yes, we are going to use two balloons, but we worry that it might be hard to organize that the air comes out at the same time. So we decided just to use one. Okay. And, um, and we're going to cut this dial stick and stick it through the polystyrene here to make a support for the balloon. But wait a minute, haven't you forgotten something? You have to know how tall to make this support and that will depend on how big the balloon is. But haven't you got to blow it up first? Oh yes, you're right. Right, so now you see how tall this support is supposed to be and Kristen will cut it accordingly. I think you can break it, that's good enough. It, that's great, but how are you going to make sure that your support doesn't fall over? We thought we'd just tape it down. Hmm, I think you'll find that tape will not hold it securely, but try. Do you remember it must be standing upright? Do you just want to help it? Let's get another piece of tape, Kristen. Okay, I think it's better if you start with your stick down, and then let's see how you're going to work the tape. Not quite secure, can you see that? I've got an idea for a support. I'm going to use straws to make a more solid support structure, and these are bendable straws. So that makes our lives a bit easier, and we're going to make a triangle here, can I just have a piece of tape to stick it together? There you are. That's one triangle down, right? And here's another bendable part. You bend it, just bring this to it. That's another triangle. Stick that one down, sorry. And one to go. There it is done, our last triangle. Bend it where it's supposed to, and just bring this to it like this. Tape, and thanks. Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use our triangles to support our dowel stick. Okay, we're going to stick it in the middle of our triangles before we actually tie them together. That's two triangles, and let's get the last one. Just help me with tape, guys. Okay, Shivana, do you wanna, okay, you wanna help her cut? Right, and just here, at the neck of our triangles, we'll stick it down. Do you need help there with tape? She's got it. And then Shivana, a very short one, not too long. That's too big, go back, that's fine. Thank you very much. And then can you just tie them here at the neck so that they're all what together? You might need another one. Not quite, we're doing fine, thank you, Kristen. There, there's a support, and all we have to do now is stick them down. Can we get pieces of almost as short as we've been cutting? Pieces of tape, just to tie down our support. Can I help you with that so that we move quicker? Great. Okay, another one. It's great, Shivana has the hang of this. And one last one, Kristen. Can you all see now how this will make our dowel more secure?
press this down. Can you see that? The triangles here at the bottom give it an extra area of support. But what are we going to attach the balloon to? I thought we would use this. If we cut a hole in the bottom here... Okay, I need help. Let me help you with that. All right, why are we cutting a hole in the bottom again? To fit the dial inside. Okay, and then what? There is your hole, we're almost done. How big is it? Okay. Not too big. Right. I think this about does it. Let me just bend it here manually. Right, and I snip this off. Always be careful, then there's your hole there. And we could cut a slit here. Just very careful with the scissors. Big enough to fit the dial inside. Are you winning with the slit? I'm getting there. Do you need help with this? Do you want to help the ladies? A bit more pressure? Manly pressure. Let's see if everyone can do this. Right, and why have we got the slit again? To put the balloon into here. Yeah. But the slit squeezes the balloon closed so the air won't be able to come out. Oh, right, so we better make this a bit bigger. So now all we have to do is put the balloon in. Pull it through. You ladies winning. Let's just jump. There we go. Now what we have to do is attach this to the support. There. That looks really good. It looks like it'll travel for us. Hey, Mavin! Yeah, boy, Mavin. Hey, I'd like to go to the sea one day. Ah, oh, yes, so would I. Oh, it sounds really cool, yeah? Yes, it does. Oh, can we go next week? Next week? Mm -hmm. Mavin, it's a lot to organize. It's, it's very, very far to the sea. Why are you so desperate to go to the sea? Well, because I've never seen it. Yes, I know that, but it's not going anywhere. It will still be there if we manage to get there by the end of the year. Oh, the end of the year? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Why are you so keen to see the sea all of a sudden? Well, the hyenas... Uh... No, no, not the hyenas again. Mm -mm. The hyenas told me there's a beautiful huge fish named after me that lives in the sea. The, there's a fish called the maven? Yeah. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Hey, they said there was, and mm -mm. they said it was one of the fastest fish in the sea, <gasps> and it's got this really long nose. You mean a marlin. A marlin? Yes. Oh, uh, Mavin. Yes? Can you call me marlin from now on? Oh, Mavin. Oh. Mm. Marlin. Hey. Mm. Marlin. Mm -mm. Yeah, I give up. Tracker, can we decorate the boat now? You know, put a name on, maybe a stripe here, and that sort of thing? Yes, of course you can. The cookies and things over the shelf. Tra Tracker Tanu, next time can we make our boat? Definitely. Yay! It's, it's going, going to, to be, be great! great.
I see. Valentin is the name of their boat, but they made a model of a catamaran, huh? It's amazing what you can do with polystyrene and cardboard and a balloon. Hey, what, what? I wonder if it will go fast on the water. Hey. <laughs> see you again soon. Bye. Let's go. 